In my eight years of being a Barcelona fan, I have never once been happy for Madrid when they won a game. So I won't start doing that today. But I will acknowledge the fact that them taking three points away from Atletico de Madrid could end up playing a huge role in how the league table turns out when it comes to the end of the season. So what's going on, guys? I hope you're all doing well. And today, Atletico de Madrid played Real Madrid, and Real Madrid won 2-0. to zero. So when, what went on in this game? Well, in my opinion, Real Madrid played a very good game. And although I am a Barcelona fan, sometimes you just got to take your hat off, you know? <laughs> hat off in respect to the opposition when they play a good match. And today, Real Madrid played very well, and Atletico de Madrid were just very poor. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to make a quick video talking about it and, you know, how it could affect Barcelona in the future. So, yeah. Today, Atletico de Madrid were very disappointing, in my opinion. I remember the game that they played against Barcelona, and they looked very sharp. They looked very disciplined and tactically aware. And today, against Real Madrid, I mean, Real Madrid were just better than them in every sense of the way. I hate to admit it, but Real Madrid were just absolutely amazing today. The way they pressured the ball, the way they position positioned themselves, sorry about that, the way they positioned themselves, it was pretty good out there. You know, they were very tactically disciplined, and they knew how to keep Atletico de Madrid in their own box. Atletico de Madrid could not come out of the back, and they really struggled to get some passes going because Real Madrid were just very hard working in this match, and they would not let Atletico de Madrid cross their own half, and it was pretty... Pretty incredible to watch, to be quite honest. I've never seen Real Madrid play like that for a while. And, I mean, although, you know, I don't like Madrid, I, you always want to see them doing well because that means your rivals are at a high level and you want to, you want your rivals to be at a high level because that, that could help you reach a higher level as well. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, those two goals, uh, they were a little bit silly in my opinion, but Real Madrid did deserve to win regardless, you know? That goal, the first goal uh, that Casemiro, he got a header from the corner. It was just poor defending from Atletico, in my opinion, from that corner. I mean, uh, Casemiro was just free to just head it and, you know, easy peasy, easy as you like. He just heads it in and that's it. And then the second goal, it was just a bit unlucky, but at the same time, it was just a little bit of a silly goal. It was kind of like a goal you would see in FIFA where Carvajal gets a nice shot and it hits the post, but then it bounces off Oblak's back and goes back in, you know? So that's like something you would see off of FIFA, you know? And after, that's something you would see in FIFA on like a rage montage and have some little kid throwing his controller at the TV after that. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about today, Madrid playing against Atletico, where Madrid won 2-0. to zero. And that can have some very big effect, very big effects going forward on the league. Firstly, it could really give Real Madrid some confidence and they could take it and run with it, you know. And it could also do the opposite for Atletico Madrid. It could make them unconfident and start being on a decline. But also it could make uh, Barcelona, from the outside looking in, they can be like, oh, well, uh, Atletico de Madrid dropped some points. We needed to shorten that distance between us and Atletico Madrid on the big table. And this could be a right step in could be a step in the right direction to be able to achieve that. So yeah, one thing that I would like to point out about Real Madrid is that although they may not might be they might not be the best team in the league, they definitely got some spirit, and that's one thing that they have that Barcelona do not. I mean, Real Madrid they just have such a fighting mentality, and they are such so confident, you know. And Barcelona just lack that, and I've been saying it, but if Barcelona just had that, they would. They would be such a better team, in my opinion, and they would they could even be one of the world's best teams. But I mean, that's just one thing that Barcelona have to work on, and hopefully it improves sometime soon because Barcelona is struggling lately. But hey, tomorrow Barcelona play against Levante. That's where, you know, that's what we're all here for. You know, <laughs> we're all here to talk Barca. So yeah, tomorrow, hopefully Barcelona get the job done and take it easy, guys. Later.